Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on what materials biodegrade. Today, we're going to investigate what materials biodegrade. And to do that, I have found a spot in the garden that I have permission to dig a hole in. And it's a good idea if you're going to dig to uh, protect your hands with uh, some gloves. So that's what I've done. And I've dug myself about a nice uh, 10 centimeter or 15 centimeter uh, deep hole. It doesn't have to be too wide, just big enough to fit your materials in that you're going to test. And the materials I'm going to test are a piece of styrofoam, a plastic shopping bag, uh, I'm also going to test a piece of, of cardboard, a um, piece of cotton fabric, goes into the hole too, uh, a nice big piece of, of lettuce, fresh lettuce, and put that in, uh, some aluminum foil, goes into the hole, a apple, put that into the hole, and some glass, just got a glass jar here, that'll work, and I'm also going to put in uh, a piece of paper. Now, all we have to do is to put our glove back on and grab our trowel and put our dirt into the hole so we can cover everything up. Now, once we've got everything covered back up, I'm just going to pat that down a bit. And then we're going to put in a popsicle stick so we don't forget where we dug. Now two weeks later, we're going to dig all this stuff back up and take a close look at it to see what has biodegraded and what has not. You might want to ask yourself right now, make a hypothesis, what materials of those that we put in that hole do you think are going to biodegrade? We'll find out in two weeks. So it's been two weeks, it's time to dig up our test materials. For this part of the experiment, it would be good to have a magnifying lens to take a close look at the materials after you've dug them up. It's also good to have a trowel, of course, to dig up your materials. And a tub is a good idea to collect your materials. Even two tubs would be nice, because if your dirt is very sticky, when you bring out your materials, it would be good to have a little bit of a rinse so that you can see them really well, so you can wash them in one tub and then place them in your other tub or tray for taking a close look at. But the most important thing to remember is a set of gloves. Don't touch the materials with your hands because they may be covered in bacteria. And when you're done, make sure you wash your hands really, really thoroughly. As you dig your items out of the ground, do so very gently. You don't want to damage your items before you get a chance to analyze them. As you take them out of the ground, note their condition and then place them into your tub. If your items are very dirty, you may want to take the optional step of rinsing them off. Be gentle, make sure not to damage them before you get the chance to analyze them. You only want to get the surface dirt off so that the items are a bit easier to see. Now it's time to take a close look at the items. First on the list is styrofoam. It looks a bit dirty, but it doesn't look any different from when it went into the ground. It looks like it has not biodegraded. Second on the list is plastic bag. It too looks exactly like it did when it went into the ground. There was no biodegrading here. Next is cardboard. It has softened and looks tattered around the edges. It's beginning to break down, so this cardboard looks like it is beginning to biodegrade. The cotton cloth is a bit challenging. It looks dirty, but it also looks pretty much the same as it went into the ground. Upon closer inspection, I did notice a small worm on my cloth that appeared to be eating away at it. That may be evidence that the cotton cloth is biodegrading, or it may not. What do you think? Next up is lettuce. 
there's not much left of the lettuce that went into the ground. This lettuce has clearly biodegraded. The aluminum foil is also easy to analyze. After washing it off, it almost looks clean enough to use again. It has certainly not biodegraded at all. The apple looks in rough shape. It has a large patch where it's rotting. This is clear evidence that the apple is biodegrading. The glass jar is a bit dirty, but with some more washing, it would probably look exactly the same as it went into the ground. It has not biodegraded at all. The last item on the list is paper, and there wasn't much left to recover from the hole in the ground. The pieces that are left look in terrible shape, and are very soft, and are easy to break apart. This paper has clearly biodegraded.